Why are cancer rates in young people skyrocketing? The good news is cancer rates in young people are not skyrocketing. Unfortunately, there have been a lot of headlines that have said things to that effect, but this really requires context. Most of the risk factors for cancers are things that you actually can't control and they relate to your genetics. But there are some that are impacted by modifiable risk factors. And so for many of these, cancer rates are actually declining. We're also seeing declines in cancer rates for lung cancer because of public health measures and smoking cessation education campaigns. We've seen a lot of headlines that have said that colorectal cancer is increasing 1% year over year in people under 50, but that is actually not the correct way to look at it. So to illustrate this, these are the colorectal cancer rates in the US by age group. And so colorectal cancer is the most most common in older individuals compared to younger individuals, which is the case for nearly all cancers. Cancers are, by and large, a disease of aging. So the rate of cancer, these are number of cases per 100,000 people. In individuals for age 40 to 49, there's a rate of 37 cases per 100,000 people. So an increase in 1% means we've gone from 37 cases to 37.37 cases per 100,000 people. And when you look at the fact that there are about 150,000 colorectal cancer cases diagnosed every year, that means that we're seeing a few hundred total more cases in people under 50. Previously, colonoscopy was recommended for individuals 50 and above, but it's actually been reduced to individuals 45 and above. So rates are a function of the ability to detect cancers. So if we're screening more people within those younger age groups, we're also going to find more cancers.